We have created an environment of hate. And then we look at them like there's something wrong with them. First you hated black people, then you hated Jews. Now you're hating everybody. So the question is, when it's the only people left are you, will you hate yourself? This bill is horrible because it has nothing to do with the people. And the last thing I'll say is, God bless you because somebody's going to have to atone. So the question is, when it's the only people left are you, will you hate yourself? Power concedes nothing. This house is for the people, by the people, to serve the people, and you won't listen. You go after everybody's kids but your own. You make hate the way to go as long as it's not applied to you. You have to ask yourself the question, why would they be doing that? Who are we to cause that? None of us said we would come here and hurt people, and yet you make trades and policy so your bills can be heard. You go against the people of this state. Somebody's going to have to atone for not being who you're supposed to be. Supporters of this bill say that transgender people have mental illness. You're wrong. But if that's what you believe, what is your plan to help? All I see are attempts to deny them the help that their parents and their doctors, and most importantly, they themselves say they need. That is inhumane and cruel. And for those of you watching at home, what you're watching right now is democracy. Yes, these people may be breaking a house rule to not speak in the gallery, but we've just broken all of our own rules by limiting debate on what is the quintessential issue for this session. This is a peaceful and proper protest, and I, for one, stand in solidarity with everyone up there. Thank you for making sure your voices are heard today. Shame on this body. Shame. We cannot say we're going to allow parents to make the decision and then take the rights of parents away to make those decisions for their parents. This bill also turns our educators and administrators into investigators who must listen in on students' conversations, knock on doors, and confront and question parents and families about how students behave and refer to themselves or others. 45% of our LGBT youth have considered suicide. One in five transgender youth have actively considered and tried to take their lives. One in five. That is not love. That is not loving your neighbor as yourself. It is not living by the golden rule. And that is why the Southern Poverty Law Center and others have deemed this legislation as hate legislation. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what this bill is. This is hate legislation.